Hello, my name is Eric Amin, and welcome to our continued conversations on executive functions for students. Now, everything we've talked about in this, in this whole videos on this chapter of routines has been setting up routines. And as I've been mentioning, the hardest part is changing behaviors. And this is something that is always going to be a challenge, and it's something that you're going to get better at and better at and better at. So one little technique that can help kick these things off and remind you, and this is something that I do daily with myself, first is once again, know your goals. Make sure you're clear about those. And then you set up your routine, your systems, and then you set up your routines. And if you're trying to get these things off the ground so they can become memory and you don't have to think about them, an easy way is to make a sign. Think about all the signs you drive um, by in the city every day or in your town, advertising whatever they may be, from drinks to beverages to products, whatever it is. You may not think they do anything, but they do. They're advertising to us and that's why they're there. They're effective. The manufacturers are betting on that to go make their sales. So why not advertise to ourselves? So create signs that say what it is you're supposed to do, what system or routine you're going to do, probably a system if it's a collection of routines, and when it starts. So I'll give you an example. I will walk my dogs after I finish journaling. So I may have a little slip that says uh, walk dogs and then it says after Remember a system, one in a routine, one system begins where the other one ends. So after I finish my journaling, then I go and walk my dogs. After I walk my dogs, I water my plant. And wherever I may finish journaling, I may place a sign in a high visible traffic area of where I'm gonna be when I'm journaling to remind me I have to go to the next system. So around my house, I have little papers, signs, actual signs, you know, advertising a goal, you know, the main target, I'm going to get A's this year. And then I have little strips that remind me of when to begin different systems when another one ends. This is a great way to help kind of create the groove of routines, especially if you happen to be new, especially if you just built them, but now we got to implement them. Now this is just tactics. Remember, the real engine to all this is discipline. So do your best to stay consistent because the more disciplined you are and the more consistent you are, the easier it is to maintain them. And some of the techniques can be reminders on your phone and calendar to remind you about goals and routines you wanna go. And also techniques is read books on behavior, how to change behavior. And there's many books out there. I will recommend one that I've read and I've read others, but this is one that I recommend where I've found a lot of similarities in what I've learned from experience with students as well as um, things that I picked up on, and this is Atomic Habits. I'd recommend reading that book to help kind of kick off the engine because once again, it's discipline. How are we gonna get ourselves motivated? How do we delete old behaviors or old routines that are getting in the way? Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope to see you next time, and remember, enjoy the process.